Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest award-winning portrayal of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Selma instantly solidified his status as one of Hollywood's most wanted leading men. He constantly demonstrates his range on screen, and now he's thrilling audiences as Detective Jack Radcliffe in the time travel murder mystery, Don't Let Go. There's a crime that in your time hasn't yet happened. Your dad's gonna die. Your mom's gonna die. And so are you. But as long as you're alive, you can change things. Wow. Please welcome the amazingly talented David Oyelowo. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 <laughs> How are you, sir? It's so good to see you. Welcome, welcome. We're me. so yes. honored to have a seat. Thank We're you. so honored to have you yes. here, Thank to be in the presence me. of such greatness. Woo. Absolutely. Now, before we get into this amazing new thriller, you know, of course, we had to, we know what's going on in your life. Uh, you're vacationing with Oprah and uh, Dr. Dre's house. Yes. Tell us about this. <laughs> Um, Oprah and I met several years ago. We were in a film called The Butler together. Mm -hmm. We played mother and son, and then that so relationship good. just never stopped. So yeah. uh, I go down to Maui uh, every now and oh, again. Oh, just go down. Oh, okay. yeah, just hang out at her house. Yes. Oh, I would love to be a fly on the wall, the amazing oh, yes. conversations that you all may have. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. It's always life changing. Yes, mm, good, mm, good, mm, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this movie, Don't Let Go. It is so, so super good. intense. Oh, mm. gosh. So tell us what attracted you to this particular role. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a father myself, mm -hmm. and you know, anyone who has children knows what it feels mm. like to be protective over them, to mm -hmm. want to keep them from harm. And um, in this film, I play uh, a detective who has this wonderful niece, who they have a beautiful relationship, as played by Storm Reed. Mm -hmm. And a terrible thing happens. She dies, um, mm -hmm. my brother dies, my sister-in-law dies in a terrible murder. And I'm in the process of grieving when I suddenly get a phone call from her. Mm -hmm. And somehow time has split, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she's calling me from two weeks before her murder, so I'm trying to figure out how to save her. Yes, <laughs> yes, and this is a star-studded cast, of course, yourself, Michael T. Williamson. Yeah. Uh, and, and Storm Reid, of course, yeah. you said you referred her for this particular role. What is it about her talent that you think she deserved this particular role? Well, I went to visit the, the set of Wrinkle in Time, mm. which she played the, the lead as, as Meg Murray, a, a lady I consider a sister of mine, Ava DuVernay, was directing that film. So I went to visit the set, and I just saw this 14-year-old, she may even have been 13 at the time, just holding herself with such maturity, so much emotional intelligence, so much grace. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we were in the process of, you know, don't let go being cast. And I just thought, this is someone who is a great candidate for this. Anyone who saw The Professional many years ago, yes. Natalie Portman in that role mm -hmm. is what we needed. Mm -hmm. And that's what I felt we had in Storm Reid. That's, great. Ooh, that's yeah. great. Well, one of the major themes of this movie is family. Yeah. And like you said before, you're a dad. I am. And so do you ever think that maybe you're children might follow in your footsteps and maybe get the <laughs> acting bug <laughs> and would you ever deter them from acting no i wouldn't deter them only because i would be making the same mistake my dad did you oh, know wow. yeah he was out of protection really yes. you know, when i was younger there weren't many certainly when you're born in the uk growing up there there were not many examples of success when it mm -hmm. came to black actors mm -hmm. and so he wanted me to do something with more academic yeah. more you know a proper job, right. as he would say. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, but, but, you know, I think my second son is really interested in it, and he's very, very good. So, yes. you know, I, I would encourage him to go for it. So what does your dad say now, seeing all of uh, your successes? I knew you were going yeah. to do something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I knew you thought that long. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, no, yes. I mean, he is incredibly proud now, and he admits that times have changed. Yes. You know, he, yes. he moved to the UK in the 60s and 70s, mm -hmm. suffered terrible discrimination, and that stuff still exists, but, you know, uh, we've continued to progress, and he, yeah. he has seen that through what I've been able to achieve in my career. That is so fantastic. Well, we're going to have more with this amazing, amazing talent. David Oyelowo, when we return, stay with us. There's a crime that in your time hasn't yet happened. Your dad's gonna die. Your mom's gonna die. And so are you. But as long as you're alive, you can change things. 
so intense. Oh, gosh, I can't <laughs> wait. We are back with David Oyelowo talking about his new movie, Don't Let Go. But we are going to switch gears for just a moment because, David, mm -hmm. yes. you have been very vocal about representation in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like we are moving in the right direction? I think we are. I, I, I genuinely do. Up until recently, I've shied away from saying that because mm -hmm. in the past, there have been moments and then we've sort of dropped our level of vigilance and then it goes back again. Mm -hmm. But I feel like what's happening is that uh, black and brown performers are forming their own companies. Mm -hmm. They are making sure that if and when this pendulum swings, we have a power base that will remain. And yes. the audience is now aware of it. Yes, they yes. are now faithful and loyal and they will, and the distribution mechanisms have changed as well. So you can get to your audience directly, which is something that wasn't the case before. So you can get beyond the gatekeepers. Right, right. Yeah. And so, and, and people like Michael B. Jordan, with his production company and writers making sure that he has inclusion with females, right. with black and brown people. How important is that for people, like you said, yeah. to make sure we are changing the trajectory and changing the narrative uh, by having writers like that? It's imperative because it it's going to change the culture habitually. It's going to mean that those things, those systems that remained in place, which m basically meant, it wasn't purely that people were prejudiced, it's just that they were ignorant mm -hmm. as to the mm -hmm. habits they were in. Yes, yes. I think that this just keeps people accountable to the fact that we must make sure this doesn't continue into the future. And I think new habits are being formed in Good. Hollywood and beyond right now. Good stuff, okay. good stuff. Okay, so don't let go, it deals with time travel. Yeah. So if you could, ever travel back in time, yes. what thing would you change? Oh boy, <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. You know what, there are a few fashion decisions I made <laughs> um, in, in high school that would really, there, yeah. there, there is photographic evidence and yes. I wish I could go and change that. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's just clothes and not yeah. like a decision you made. No, I don't know. I had this weird Marky Mark phase. You know, with the, with, oh, you know, yeah. the Calvin Klein, everything. Yes. No matter what I was wearing, I just had to have the Calvin yes. Klein strip. Oh, no. Yes, 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 yes. Ill advised. That's funny. Yeah. You know, like on the set, of course, being, being a father, were there times when you were preparing for a scene mm. uh, that you actually channeled you as a father mm. to make sure those emotions matched? Or how do you, as an actor, prepare for such roles like this? Well, it's one of the things that drew me to Don't Let Go. It's also one of the things that scared me about mm -hmm. Don't Let Go, because I don't know how to half do a role. I have to make myself emotionally completely invested. And so I had to entertain the idea of what it would be like to lose one of my children of my mm. loved ones and that's something no one right. wants to entertain <laughs> but to be able to really live in the truth of that you've got to go there mm -hmm. and so I don't look forward to doing that again, but it's what um, I felt I had to do in order to tell the truth yes. in the role. Yes, and you know, for a lot of people who don't know, because you know, you, you, you had this accent, what's preparation like for you when you have to change your accent? Well, I have a dialect coach that I work with all the time, but what I tend to do is I find someone from the place mm. who is a little bit like who I'm playing, because it's not just the accent, it's their idiosyncrasies as well, the odd things that they do that I also want to try and put in there to make it feel very yeah, real. Good stuff, good yeah. stuff. Well, let's talk about what's next for you. Do you plan on doing anything behind the scenes? Yes, yes, yeah. I've just directed a film called The Waterman. Yeah. Thank you very much. For Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, so I'm in post-production on that uh, right now, and I'm, I'm very, very proud of it, and uh, excited to share that yes, with the world. Yes, what, what was the most gratifying thing to be on that side of the camera? Well, I have two young leads uh, in, in, the, in the film. Uh, a wonderful actor called Lonnie Chavis, who people may know from This Is Us, plays the young Sterling mm -hmm. K. Brown in that film, and, uh, and Amaya Miller as well. And it was mm -hmm. just wonderful to, you know, a bit like Storm Reid, seeing these young performers and just nurturing them towards great performances is something yeah. that I really Yes, good, okay. good. All right, acting or directing? Oh gosh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to choose. I don't want to choose, I don't want to choose. I did both in this film, so yes. I, you know, I, I love doing both. Yes, okay. yes, and a suspense like this and don't let go, what do you want people to take away from it? 
Well, it has these amazing genre elements of time travel. It's a supernatural thriller. Mm -hmm. It's a whodunit as well. But if you have anyone in your life who you love, yes. I think you're going to be able to relate to this story. Mm -hmm. yes. We would all do anything we could to save them. Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah. Isn't he fantastic? He's amazing. <laughs> Please just remain who you are. We mm -hmm. love, yeah. we just love what you're doing and all of your work. We're so very honored to have had you Thank here you. today. Thank you. It was an honor to be here. Can Thank we please you. give it up for David Oyelowo? And don't forget to check out Don't Let Go in theaters August the 30th. Remember, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Stay with us. All right.